Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an extra, extra, extra exciting video. There's just a lot happening and I have a rather large announcement that I've been keeping a secret almost this entire year. And I mentioned it a few times in other videos that I've been working on this project that's gonna come to fruition soon and it is arrived. I'm so excited to let you all know that my collection with Decenio launches today. I have loved Decenio for years because they honestly offer so many incredible art prints and frames at such an affordable price point so really anybody can have such beautiful artwork in their home and at the beginning of this year they actually reached out and had interest in collaborating on a collection and I kind of was like you know what I feel like I would love to kind of inject a little bit of the Lone Fox aesthetic into Decenio. They are based out of Stockholm, Sweden so I feel like their aesthetic kind of matched the Stockholm Sweden vibe which is a little bit more minimal of course they branched out into so many directions but I kind of wanted to add that vintage Lone Fox aesthetic to Decenio so we came up with 12 art pieces and I don't want to say prints even I mean they are prints but each of these 12 pieces were hand done for this collection like I do not want you guys to think that these were just pulled out of somewhere and I just selected 12 and said print them because that was not the case at all like we really put in so much thought into every single piece so that all these pieces can go together they can be done in a gallery wall or they were strong enough to also stand alone as individual pieces on top of that I really wanted pieces that can go in every room in your house so I have something for the kitchen for the bathroom bedroom living room there is a ton and i just cannot wait to show them to you i really just want to share them with you guys so i actually ended up going to sweden uh, if you follow me on instagram you might have saw that i was in sweden for a couple of days shooting the collection with decenio today is a decenio shoot and we have set up a couple of different sets you guys where they shoot these gallery walls and just like their product is unreal i gotta give you like a little tour of this studio they said i could because it is so beautiful it's, it's an apartment but like just look at this molding here's a little table setup which is so cute and the artwork's actually going to be added in after just because the glare of the photo this little area just imagine living here like imagine living here stunning stunning beautiful christmas they're shooting for christmas but how beautiful is this room I've never seen anything more stunning. And then in here, this is our little living room set. They literally recreated my Ikea ball coffee table for the shoot. I got here and I was like, wait, did you guys make that? And they were like, yes, we did. We went to Ikea and recreated it. How cute is this? It's just perfect. And it is such a stunning collection. I mean, it is my collection, but I am so happy with how it turned out and how we shot the collection. Like it was so much fun going to Sweden and working with their creative team. I also got to meet some of the artists that worked on the pieces, like the people that actually painted the pieces by hand, which props to them because I am not an artist. I'm not a painter. I could paint a solid color on a wall, but I cannot blend or, you know, precisely do artwork. They did such an incredible job. And across this collection, you're gonna see so many hand painted pieces that really have that hand painted like canvas texture in them but you're also going to see some line art pieces there's some more kind of textural pieces there's a checkerboard there's kind of a gingham print there really is something for everybody all right drew stop talking and show your collection i'm so excited okay take a glimpse of the colors like look at those colors already and i am just going to start right off with these first two which are some of my favorites these first two here are the composition and I really wanted to do an abstract piece that can go either vertical or horizontal that included the brown tone from my kitchen that you guys love that I've shared with you on my cabinetry and also just kind of this off-white tone so that it didn't read stark and I love these so much so you can pair them together you can do them solo if you wanted as like an abstract piece you could do them vertical or horizontal there really is so much you can do with these it's a nice thick quality paper and the prints are always like top notch so the one with the circle shape is composition one this one right here is composition two when i saw the painting of this and it come through in the email i was just 
look at this, you guys. This is called Red Fox, and how incredible of a job did the painter do on this one? Like, I cannot believe this was painted. When I saw this come through my email, I was like, wow, that is a work of art right there. And it has these vines here. I added those because I kind of wanted them to cup the side of the fox's face and just kind of create almost this crest-like shape in the end was what I was going for. I really love that silhouette right now. I knew I wanted to incorporate a still life, but I wanted it to have this kind of whimsy, very handmade feel to it. And this is what we came up with. I just love this still life. This print is called Pear and Wine Still Life and it has the most beautiful shades of like a wine purple color. We have that amber tone down here in the pears and I love the little sliced pear down here and then there's this hand popping in and then if you guys recognize this, this exact taper holder is actually in my kitchen. These next two kind of go together tonally um, but the first one, look at the detail and texture on this piece. This is Beagle. <laughs> As you can see it's a little Beagle and I really wanted to do a dog i wanted to do a dog though that kind of felt a little bit more like it could be anywhere again like you can use this anywhere and it wasn't particularly like an expression of a dog so this one i love it's like a beagle from behind it has this great canvas texture on it and the colors themselves are so so pretty in this one and then from this i actually did a gingham and I have just been obsessed with plaid obsessed with gingham lately so we took the colors from the dog and kind of incorporated them into this gingham style print which this is another one that could be either framed horizontally or vertically however you'd like to the artist that created this one did so many renditions it was all hand painted on this like cloth like fabric this is the one that was kind of settled on and I love this piece it's just so Fun. I actually used kind of a similar one in my friend Trevor's place. This next print I definitely feel like is going to be a Lone Fox fam favorite. Check out Rustic Florals. This one turned out incredible. I got to see the actual painting of this one in person. I got to see the actual painting of a bunch of these when I went to Sweden. This one in person was just like breathtaking. If I was to see this at a flea market as like an antique piece of art or like a vintage art piece, I would have scooped it up in a second because the colors in it, the texture, like the moodiness and the depthiness. I also love how there's some petals like just sitting on the countertop and it almost has this like impressionism feel to it as well. The next two that I'm going to show you are kind of more on the neutrally line art side. So we did body impression, which looks like this. It's just like a female nude line art body with like a textural background and it has a white border on it. I love the white with kind of the cream, the mix of those two. And then we did this one, which is called Botany and it has these hand-drawn graphite, almost like leaves on it. And then we added this border on the inside. I wanted this one in particular to feel like a vintage etching and I feel like we were able to get that kind of portrayed in this, especially with the texture in the background, it really is perfect. This is the checkered vase and just look how cool that is. It has this watercolored checkered vase and then these vines that are kind of symmetrical going down either side. I really wanna put this in like an oval frame or something and have it really be kind of the focal point in there. Second to last, this is another abstract piece called Tranquility and I love this art piece because I feel like you can put it in a frame, you can mat it wherever you'd like to, you can flip it in any direction you want to to get the look that you'd like. And this one also comes in an extremely large size. So if you love that kind of abstract art, oversized art above your sofa, this is a great one to put on the wall. It's such a beautiful hand painted piece. And I had to save one of my favorites for last. This one is called Checkerboard, if you can guess why. <laughs> I love this one so much. I love it because it actually looks like it's fully painted and textured. Like when you have this in a frame, it actually looks as if you can go up and touch the texture. It is just incredible how they're able to get that across. And I almost feel like they add extra to it. That way when it prints, it kind of is a little bit more soft. And I just feel like this checkerboard is perfect. It has this dark brown with this kind of like off-white canvas tone against it. That is my collection with Decenio. The Lone Fox X Decenio Ambassador Collection is live to shop. And we are going to be hanging some of this up in the house. I'm actually really excited because as many of you know, I've been doing a bunch of room makeovers in my new home. And as I've been doing them, sometimes as a content creator, you can't get around to every single corner of the room. So maybe there's a corner like this one in particular over here or 
this wall here that didn't get much love or attention because I kind of was focusing on everything else. And I was like, you know what? I'll get to that later. So in this video, we are gonna be going back through a bunch of the rooms and kind of just tweaking them a little bit and making them perfect, adding a little bit of my art as well, because in a lot of the spaces, I actually mentioned that I have yet to find art for them. Art is a very personal thing. And I feel like in a lot of the rooms I do, I leave spaces and walls blank and mention to you guys, like I might have not found the right piece of art and I'm still looking, so I'll keep you updated. But today, we have found the right art for these spaces. And we're gonna be going back through some of the rooms and just tweaking them ever so slightly. I'm actually really excited to share with you some of the tweaks I wanna do. I think the biggest change is gonna be actually in the breakfast nook upstairs. So I would absolutely love for you guys to check out my collection with Decenio. I'm going to link it at the top of the description box below. So definitely tap over, check it out. I hope you can find a print or maybe even 12 that you'd like to add to your collection. But I feel like there's something for everybody. So definitely browse, um, you can see the different sizes is offered, they have frames, there's a bunch of stuff over on Decenio. I think we should start down here in the lobby, so let's get going. We are in the lobby, and when I did this space, this wall actually used to house the tapestry. And the tapestry actually got sent off for a project that I'm working on um, a couple of weeks back. And I told myself that when it comes back here that I'm actually gonna hang it up in the stairwell because I really do feel like it had its moment here, but I think it should live in the stairwell because it's a little bit too large for this wall. As a bunch of you guys saw, I had it folded over on the underside. So I was thinking I have this large white wall and I kind of wanted to put those two abstract prints from my collection on this wall with some black mats around them. And I think it's gonna fill it up really nicely. Then we can add our table lamp back and I have a table that I made for this area because there used to be no table. Here are the prints themselves. So it's composition one, which is this one, and composition two. Asenio also sells mats that you can put over the top of your prints. So they sell them in black and white. And the frames that I'm going to be using are the dark oak frames. So all around, I just feel like it's gonna look so perfect, the dark oak with the black mat. Look how good the dark matte looks with the art and the dark oak frame. Just so high-end looking. A little tip is to always keep your inserts that come in your frames because you can use these as hanging templates. You're just gonna add a nail on the top of each corner of your template and you can hang your frame right over the top without having to think about where to put the nail or anything. So, another pro tip. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. <laughs> you guys look at that. Justin, what do you think? That looks so good. It looks really, really good. I like it. It looks expensive. And then last but not least, I just made this little table. Um, and I love the way that it turned out. It's gonna be the side table for this sofa. It actually fits perfectly on the side there. I'm gonna do this book. What are you doing? Come look what I put on the wall. Wow. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh! That looks Does it look so, so good? good? Wait, I love the frame. I know. How they look with that. With the black mat, <gasps> it looks so good. These are two of my favorite prints too. I know you wouldn't. I feel like you wouldn't really think much of them, but they're like. It looks so yeah, good. I love it. Ah! So here is the print called Tranquility, and I just love this. It's like an abstract piece, so you can mat it if you want to. You can even flip it. We can flip it fully horizontal if we wanted to. Hang it like that. Still looks like a really pretty piece of art. I actually even maybe like it more like that. Big brainstorm on that for a bit, but that's what I love about the three that I did down in this lobby area is that all three of them, you can kind of like swap them. You could flip them around, hang them horizontal, hang them vertical. I have this bronze bust here and I thought it'd be fun to add this little framed 
nude print next to it, kind of to like juxtapose the masculine and the feminine. I thought that'd be pretty, but the little frames actually have like a little um, backer too, so you can put these ones on the tabletop or something. So. upstairs because we are now going to work on the breakfast nook. This is the room that is going to have the most kind of work done on it. I actually want to add some paint. And if you guys recall, I painted the ceiling in here red to start, which was not the right move to do. That's why it's not red anymore. But I do want to give this room a contrasting trim, just a subtle contrasting trim, because I just feel like it is just a little bland. I don't know. There's something about it. It just feels a little stark. I love all the elements in here. I love the table. I love the chairs but I feel like just a slight contrast trim on the windows and on the baseboards and maybe even this top crown molding here and just like a shade darker than what's already in here could be so pretty. Currently this room is painted Dimity, which is this color here by Pharaoh and Ball. Now I just went two colors down on the swatch card to this one right here and we are painting it Oxford Stone. <laughs> Okay, the trim actually took a little longer than expected. We have been painting this for like three hours or so, but look how good the contrast trim looks. Perfect. I even did the little border up at the top, all of the windows, of course, and then the baseboards. Look how pretty that color is. It just looks so good. And I did a satin finish so that the trim had a little more of a sheen to it. Tape on. Look how good. So sunny look. Oh! <laughs> but it looks so good. While the top dries down for the second coat, I am going to start swapping the art in these frames here, which are so cute because these frames are kind of like handmade little oval wood frames. They have this organic quality to them. So the three prints I'm wanting to do in these frames are the Wine in Pairs Still Life, and then the Beagle print, and then the Gingham print as well. I really love these colors together, and I think they're going to pair nicely with the frame as well. That was so good. this room it's dark it's moody it's perfect for movies however I actually transferred one of the large art pieces that I had over here into the top living room and the shelf above me actually holds the projector over here that then projects at the screen so I have a couple of framed pieces here this first one is the gingham which I thought these colors just looked so nice in here with like the sofa but I thought doing the gingham kind of sideways would look really pretty I think that looks so good. Something else to keep in mind is putting your prints in a vintage frame. So this right here is the Rustic Florals print. Used a vintage frame to make it look like an actual painting. And that's a little tip. Take out the glass so there's no glare on the front and then find a vintage frame and you can make any of these look like paintings. They look so pretty. Those would look really cute, just kind of styled together. I have the art up here, but I also have this. Piece, which is the checkerboard art and I'm going to add this right above the bench right here in the entryway It's just a little bench that I have for pe when people come in I just want to hang that right here Perfect piece for the entryway and I knew you can kind of see a peek of it through so I wanted to Kind of let you guys see those textures and patterns and this one vertical. Oh, I like that more one of the 
spaces I've been wanting to restyle since I styled this room. This is kind of like the grand living room if you happen to watch my tour video. And right over here is this really long, beautiful credenza that I got from Olive Atelier and it just fits right here perfectly. And then right over here is that funky mirror that you guys might have seen. The actual post and legs are chrome. So it introduces a little bit of silver into the room. And you all know I love mixing metals. So for this wall, I wanted to add some of my art from the collection in some metal frames and also some wood frames kind of mismatch them and create a cool gallery wall. Like this is a very long hutch. It's like a hundred inches. It's just overall a very tall wall and I want to draw the eye up a bit. So I placed some items that I'm kind of thinking about adding, mainly around the frames. So I did all the templates on the insides of the frames, and I really want to lean this vase one. I thought that'd be so fun to maybe style a vase around the vase print. And this fox print is going to be the star of the show. Check that out. So we're adding our fox here. And I put the fox in a chrome frame because I just thought that it would add a slight bit of shine and like modern element to all of this vintage because I really have a lot of vintage and kind of aged feeling pieces. So I wanted to add some of this chrome feeling in here. We have our leaf print, which kind of looks like an etching. I absolutely love this one. And it is going to go over on the left side. Perfect every time. I really love a white mat on a piece of art. So I wanted to share with you what like one of the abstract pieces would look like with a white mat. This is what the matted print looks like and you can mat any of these. So keep that in mind if you want to add a white mat or a black mat. I'm using the gingham print again. This is my most used one so far. I just really love this. I'm always so drawn to plaids and just like patterns. And I feel like you never see that in art. So really love this one. I want to add some more lightness over here. So I have this paper mache pot. All the art is up. It looks great. And I put some branches in this. These are just some faux branches that are perfect for the fall time, which is basically what time of season we're in. I have these little mini calla lilies and I'm just going to put them. I put them actually just in a drinking glass and just going to put them over on the side. I recently got these like banana peel-esque almost brass taper holders. They're just really simple and I have these painted tapers in them. I'm gonna add them here. Add a little of the silver from the frames. I'm actually gonna add this award that I want. It's a Webby award, but it has like the perfect kind of structure. It looks like a little statue. So I'm just gonna pop it on some books. Over here in the corner. And this is the finished styled credenza, which I love. I think this looks so good. Um, it has a little bit of fall in it and I love how it kind of ties back to the fox print, which I wanted front and center in this living room. It's like right under the peak, which is really cool. Hello. Hi. You look good. <laughs> oh, wow, thanks, I'm filming. <laughs> Wanted to show you my Desenio prints because you know I've been doing my collection with Desenio and I thought I'd share oh. them with you. I wanna see. Do you wanna see? Oh my gosh, I love the box part. <laughs> look. look. That is so good. It's like painted. Yeah, I, I was just noticing that one. Uh, the plaid print on the top left. Yeah, this one? Yeah, it reminds me of one of your actual rows that you have. <laughs> Actually painted contrast trim in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that. Doesn't that, that look pretty? Yes. Oh, I love the dog. <laughs> I think it's cute. Like pears and wine. So good. And the gingham again. I use the gingham so many times. That is really cool to put it in a round frame. Okay, so these two are, I think they're like the largest two that I put on the wall, but I love how they look. Look. That actually does look really good. Doesn't together. that look so good? Yes, and you know what? I bet you could take those and you could turn them too. That looks really, really good. It's kind of spooky. <laughs> it is. And abstract. Well, there you go. <laughs> no, I seriously like how it looks. I think it looks really good together. 
Okay, so then the last little area that I added art in is the movie room. A gingham again. Wow, are you serious? Doesn't that one look good? I think that's probably like a bestseller. I think that one looks so good. That's my favorite. I could see that over a big fireplace too or something. Yeah. I oh, do you, do you need that over your fireplace? I do. I would love that. Yeah, be Can you get it for me? Friend, yeah, I can. Friend, friend, friend. And here's my last one. What's a checkerboard thing? Checkerboard. You can literally use this as a checkerboard if you wanted to. Which ones would you like? All of them? I really love the flower one. I love the lone fox one. I guess we would call that the lone fox one. The, the red fox. The red fox, is that what it is? Red fox, yeah. I would like a big, huge, for the whole size of the living room wall. A box. A mural. Alright, so I'll talk to you tonight. Okay, love you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Love you too. Bye. And that is my collection with Decenio. I just love every single piece and I hope that you guys also find something that you love as well. I am going to link the collection below. It is available to shop today. You can get frames for it. You can get prints, different sizes. Just take a browse. But I just want to thank you all so much because you guys are the ones that have made this collection possible and it is just such a dream come true. Like I am so excited to see you start incorporating some of these in your home and let me know in the comment section if you're picking up any like which ones you're gonna get or like which one's your favorite leave a comment below I'd love to know but I'll catch you all in my next one and I love you guys so much goodbye